Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Howler for an Hour. This time we're checking out something that might be kind of interesting. This is Contra Operation Galuga. It's always weird to see Konami making new games, uh, or in this case, publishing. WayForward's responsible for this. They're, they're the ones that made Shantae, as well as, uh, I think, some other games I never really played, like the River City Girls games. And those are pretty solid. WayForward knows what they're doing, generally, with game development, so that's an encouraging sign. Konami's a weird mixed bag these days, and it's weird to see them decide they want to remake the original Contra. And that is exactly what this is. It's basically a reimagining of Contra 1, uh, with new enemies, stages, game mechanics, and co-op up to four players. I'm going to be playing solo today, but uh, that's kind of what we have here. So we have a remake, effectively. Is it any good? Well, let's find out. Uh, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but of course we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Because it does make a huge difference, and we'd honestly love to have you. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. Um, did I reset? It may have. I'll just adjust it again if needed. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a merch store if you want to check that out and buy some cool things. Links in the description, and check them out. At your leisure. Did the, did the audio reset? Nope, it stayed where it is. Does it feel a little loud? Does, when I'm talking over the music, does it seem a little loud? Contra's a pretty loud game, typically, so I can turn down a little bit more if you like. Should we turn down one more, one more notch? What do you think? How's that sound? Is that too quiet, or is that good? So, one thing I immediately noticed with this is that Story Arcade and Challenge Mode, Perk Shop. So I just lowered it down a little bit more, so hopefully that's good. If it's still too loud as we play, just let me know. But the perk shop, we I, I as soon as I started, as soon as I got opened the game the first time, I got a thousand credits. So perks adds limited vulnerability during dash bill only, increases height of double jump, lance only. So it looks like character specific abilities you can just buy with credits you earn in game. Enables the grapple ability, probotector, oh, probotector. Oh, that's adorable. That is adorable. I wonder who here sees that and immediately understands what the Probotector is. And the other Probotector. Hover ability. Probotector. That's great. That's fucking great. So listen. When Contra was released in some countries, I believe specifically in Europe, uh, that was like too violent for the time. So they changed the characters into robots and called it Probotector. So like, this is like UK version Contra characters. Uh, it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. Remember, remember, England was weird. They didn't, they didn't accept the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles because ninja was a violent word, so it had to be the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. If you weren't aware. England was weird during the 90s. Anyways. <laughs> uh, retain special weapons. So these are like perks that, that add abilities and make the game a little easier. You start with weapons equipped. So, I mean, that's fine. I don't mind... I don't, listen, Contra is a difficult game series, but I don't mind perks to make the game easier because, I mean, these are optional. You can buy them, probably turn them on and off if you want to. So, okay, that's cool, I guess. Um, that's neat. I'm just going to go with just nothing, though, because that's probably the more core experience. So, story mode, challenge mode, arcade mode. What do we got here? Let me look at challenge mode. Speed run, race through the stage as fast as possible, obstacle course, make it through a tricky six. So, it's like a little... Nuggets of gameplay for this from the stages. Master assigned weapon. What do you get for doing the challenges? I wonder. It's probably just there for those that want them. Um, maybe they unlock some. Maybe they give you some credits. Arcade mode. Two for players for your past contract. In arcade mode, you receive credits based on your performance upon game over. So if you can boost this reward for completing consecutive stages. Okay. So arcade mode, you can lose. Story mode, you probably can't lose. I'll do, I'll do story mode so we can see more stages, effectively. Uh, let's see. Story mode, you receive credits based on your performance at any stage. Complete stage with additional character. Basically, arcade mode will game over. It's like classic. It's basically a classic mode. Um, okay, so... Easy. No. Tune for players. From, so, normal is tune for players familiar with past Contra errors. Now, you may notice that I barely ever talked about Contra on my channel. That does not mean I'm unfamiliar with it, as expressed by me expressing the Probo Checker tri trivia. I actually like Contra games. I played a few of them. 
I, I find the series to be fun. I like I like a good platform run gun running gun game. It's also why I like Gunstar Heroes on the Genesis. I've talked about that before. So yeah, I played the original Contra, so I can compare this uh, remaster. It's not really a remaster; it's more it's a complete remake, but it is based on Contra one. So uh, hard. I guess this is normal. Health meter. Players at HP meter based on their chosen character perks. Let's play they use life. Okay, having a health meter is a little bit different. Contra typically you don't have a health meter; you have lives. You get hit, you die, you lose a life. One hit kill. Yeah, that. The player receives damage, they lose a life. That's it. However, they'll receive bonus for the added challenge. I kind of want to do one hit kill because that feels right for Contra. I'll just do that. Normal one hit kill. And we can pick between Bill Riser and Lance Bean. Your last name is Bean? So, the second protagonist in Contra, the classic second protagonist, second player, is Mr. Bean. <laughs> Good to know. I'm going to pick Mr. Bean. <laughs> It's a lot of room for characters. That's true. I wonder, like, obviously the Pro Protector is going to be unlocked. I don't know. I don't know who else though. I think there were some other characters from other Contra games that probably will be unlocked too. All right, Galuga Archipelago. Very good. Hmm. Cute. Cube activated. Okay. Who's this Skyrim ass character? Conan? Who's this lady? If they let you unlock Pliskin for the GBA one, then give me this a shot. <laughs> I don't remember Pliskin. Okay. Six months later. Let's review the mission details. As you know, a terrorist group called Red Falcon has been carrying out limited strikes around the globe. How limited? We've confirmed reports they've set up shop on the main island of Galuga, following the meteor event earlier this year. Hmm. The Federation immediately dispatched the GX army, as they were in the vicinity for military exercises. They seemed to be making headway until three days ago, when we lost contact. Oh no. You're kidding. Gen 10 is the strongest unit in the Federation Army. No way some fringe upstarts took him out. How's the volume, by the way? Good? While it's still unconfirmed, we should assume the worst. Apparently, the Red Falcon are more powerful than we realized. Speaking of which, our science division has some troubling intel of their own. Dr. Drake. I do like I do like how Mr. Bean here is having a good think with his shotgun. <laughs> I kind of like this pose. The Federation's interstellar satellite network detected a gravity anomaly. Something on Earth emitting gravity waves strong enough to circle the planet. Their source coordinates align squarely on the Galuga Archipelago. I have to admit, this is a lot more story than I was expecting for Contra. <laughs> this gives us reason to suspect the Red Falcon are developing gravity weapons. Hmm. Gravity weapons. The Federation banned them decades ago. After what happened with that baseball. That's right, Lance. We can't risk destructive power of that magnitude falling into the wrong hands. Or the wrong or the wrong people win the All-Stars. My weapons division at Henriksen Industries confirms those readings are consistent with the components of a gravity bomb. Henrik Henriksen's Industries, you look like that. So you're the main antagonist, I guess. Even just storing that thing improperly could cause tectonic shifts, climate disturbances, or worst case, potential black hole. I'm sorry, he just looks like a douche. He's probably evil. Bill, Lance, wait, wait, did I skip a dialogue line? Given the situation, I think it's clear why the Federation listed our EMC Contra unit. Your primary objective is to engage Red Falcon ground forces, confirm the source of those gravity waves, and disarm it. No, seriously, the guy on the right looks like the sort of guy who will see you, kiss your girlfriend, and then will still hit on your girlfriend right after that. He looks like one of those people. If at all possible, locate the GX army and report back with their current status. There's a Red Falcon stronghold not far from your drop. Infiltrate the base and apprehend their lieutenant. His field intel will help determine our next move. <laughs> Why does he look like a monkey? He looks like he looks like he looks like somebody from Star Fox. He looks like Marv Andros's army. <laughs> what is this guy? And his fucking lumberjack beard. 
A remote hideout, missing super soldiers, and a doomsday weapon. Hell of a Friday. Time to introduce ourselves. Hell yeah, brother. Okay. Hell yeah, brother! And he just immediately leaves me alone. <laughs> okay, so... Typical... Gateway directions. Surprise. And... We have a... Take oh, a that's a little dodge. Movement, jumping, and shooting. Yep, seems about right. Nice little, little, little tells me roll, roll jump. jump. A second time in midair or dash horizontally. <laughs> Simply incredible. All wait, contras were a contra? I guess I guess you can call us that, sure. Take that. You can aim with more precision by holding down aim lock. Ooh, that was less than... So another thing about contras, endless ways of enemies yeah. is a common thing. Can't take your time in in contra typically. Double jump's very handy. Spread shot's my favorite shot in Contra. What's yours? Whoa. I kind of want that, but now nah, I'll keep One pushing moment. it for now. Flamethrower is... Always gets me killed in Contra games. <laughs> so I'm just, so I was like debating it. What's that? Hold on, there's a little thing I can grab. Oh, it's just it's just for grabbing. If I just a little grabbing, just a little grabbing thing, you know, just a grabbing thing in the jungle. You, you have grabbing things in the jungle sometimes. It's all good. Yeah, spread is always best. <laughs> ah, machine gun level two. Okay. Oh, hey, it's you again. Hey, Bill. Ooh, uh... Is this... Our this is... Enemy fire. It's going down. I'll take machine gun level 2. Oh, there's some... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, quite the crash. That's strike one. It's all three by my count. Okay, I guess we got a co-op buddy that's AI controlled. All right. Hold a primary and secondary weapon. Swap between them strategically. Whoa. If I may. It's not expected that at that time. Hmm, laser? Laser is Whoa, what the hell? Laser is working differently than I expected. You know what? Let's let's get laser. Laser's pretty good usually. Wait, did that literally just come out of nowhere? Alright. Hey, what dropped there? I didn't even see. Oh fuck, no. We're not doing that. If, apparently if the weapons drop in the water, you can't even see them. Oh. Oh! If I crouch in the water! Great. <laughs> Threw me off for a second. <laughs> sacrifice your active weapon for a powerful attack or strategic effect. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, spread two. Much better. Oh, I get an extra shot. Okay. Oh, was that a grenade? Fuck. Sorry, that. Stop that. I, I, that didn't explode though. That was weird. Try the overload function now. I'll send a replacement weapon immediately. Okay. That's a living. I, I overloaded it. I guess it gives me invincibility? I guess so. Okay, the laser's kind of good because you can actually shoot with more directions than eight. Whoa. That actually has its uses. I actually like that. It's better for precision aiming. That being said, spread shot, man. Oh, hi there. I guess we have. Knock off Iron Man. Thanks for helping. Well, well. If 
it's not the GX Army's mascot. Hey, Stan. If the EMC oh, no. stick its nose in this operation. Oh, you lose whatever weapon you have equipped when you die. Okay. If I'm about to die, I should switch to the weapon I care less about then. Makes sense. I suppose so. At any rate, stay alert. These guys aren't messing around. You alone? Oh damn, I jumped into that. I lost contact while running advanced recon. Probably signal damage or something. I'm not worried. Put that in your report. I'll keep in touch. Just in case things get too hot for you, Con. This is a good backup. I heard Stanley's update. Let him worry about the GX army. Ah oh, yes, homie missile. You know, homie missile is good, but usually kind of weak. That being said, holy That's shit. Good. Okay, it doesn't feel terribly weak right now. Wow. All right. Yeah, homing is terribly good. If it's good homing, and this is actually very good homing, so they're very fast. So I'll take it. Oh, what was that guy's plan? Actually, now that I think about it, home missile is good for the enemies to keep respawning. Because the enemies that run at you are actually really dangerous. I find, at least. Uh, let's do that. Let's do a homie missile spread. That's a really good homing, actually. Alright. Yep. Breaks. Typical first boss. Wall. Oh my god. <laughs> the homie missiles just don't give a shit. Oh, there's- oh, oh, okay. Alright, that's- okay, I wasn't expecting that. Good- good play, good play. How do you surprise me with a wall boss? Make their- make their second one show up. Oh, make three show up! Make your third one show up! Yeah, that makes sense. Oh no. Actually, wait, that was kind of tactical. I didn't lose the one I- Oh no, I can't pick it up! It's in the wall! Ah! <laughs> oh, the wall's encroaching. I don't appreciate that. Ah, I see. They start aiming before they shoot at me, so I can tell when they're gonna do it. Well, at least I got spread level 2 before that all went to self. <laughs> so how are we going to remix a wall boss? MORE WALLS! <laughs> Fair enough. Actually, that background wall reminds me of a different boss from a different Contra game. I'd get this for game just to use homie missiles. The homie missiles do seem fun. I'd like to see homie missile level 2. Entry point, uh, <clears throat> located. Locate. Yeah, that's a good word. To proceed, Commander. <laughs> Copy that. Falcon is obviously on alert, but we haven't seen anything unexpected. Apologies, Commander. We should discuss the chopper attack. Yeah, we should. How'd they get a missile past our sensors? That's it exactly. It wasn't a missile. What? Whatever it was, our scans indicate organic matter. It was a bee! <laughs> organic? Looks like a wasp, actually. What exactly does this mean, then? It means we have a good opener when we find the guy in charge. I'm ready if y'all are. Resume the mission. Locate Red Falcon's lieutenant for questioning. We'll update when we know more. Over and out. <laughs> Unnecessary spin! <laughs> okay, level two. I keep playing as Lance. I'm not gonna buy any upgrades. I'm probably gonna die because I'm not giving myself boons, but that's fine. I want the more traditional Contra experience. And I, I'm sorry, but I don't think I, I don't think I can completely game over. Maybe restart a stage. Haven't but... decommissioned this model yet? Oh no, hover bikes. <laughs> oh no, hover bikes. <laughs> yep. I am concerned with high-speed sections. <laughs> Oh yeah, spread level- wait, no. It only goes up to two, okay. Three of there was a level three.
It's gonna seem only dangerous if I let him stick around. Okay. There's a lot going. What the hell is that thing? Get it. Get rid of it. It's a it's a tire. Stop it. <laughs> I'm tired of this. Hey, JV. It is Contra. Yes. I'm anticipating what direction I will be attacked from. There's a bit of 3D going with shoot. Not one of them. Not anymore. Uh, okay. Shoot your friends up. I'm just a merc, you know. Okay. For some easy money, but these guys are terrorists, man. The other guys were brainwashed or something. They're like freaking zombies. Here's what this guy looks like, by the way. You? So different. They locked me up for some weird experiments. That's why I'm getting out. Now. I think we're seeing some characters we're gonna unlock in the course of the story here. So here's a mercenary is like, I just won the money, man. This isn't worth it. No way. You don't understand. Someone let me out. They're trying to kill me. I gotta get out of here. Oh no! Watch out! Sniper? See? Thanks for the help, but I gotta get out of here. He took he took that sniper shot like a chap. <laughs> oh no, I don't like you. Oh no, I don't like you. <laughs> They're harder they have a harder hitbox. Oh no, now I just have the laser. Okay, make it work, make it work. Uh oh. Oh, flamethrower. <laughs> That was the least- that was the last thing I expected the will to attack me with. No! I want the homie! God damn it! I hate- I hate- I, I hate auto scrolls! I was trying to juggle that correctly, but... I couldn't tell which one I was on. <laughs> Fine, I'm fine. Surprise. Nope. Nope. I noticed the laser actually uh, kind of ricochets on level two. That's kind of good. I think about the the flamethrower wills. They start by shooting straight up. It's not actually as dangerous. Okay, homie missiles, good. <laughs> <laughs> that makes that one scrolling a little safer. Now I can focus on dodgy. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Messed that one up. I could shoot them through the cutscenes. Okay, this is a pretty good fight, actually. I like the spike traps. <laughs> they require some timing. Running away. <laughs> Bye. Like <laughs> Hi again. Stop moving. Stop moving. All I'm doing is oh, that's a lot of everything. Okay, stay far away from that seems pretty safe. Less safe. There we go. Just make sure. <laughs> Just make sure it's dead. You won't get much information out of them now. Oh shit, more level. That was not the end of it. Laser's not laser has sort of homing, so it's still useful. Oh fuck, I thought I could take it out before it got me. You know what? Sure. Fire against fire. That's how you fight you fight fire fire guys.
No, chaser? Oh, 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 this is, uh... What is this weapon? I don't quite recognize it. Short range explosive? I, I guess. I mean, it has quite a blast radius. I do think this is actually kind of effective. But it might see the level 2 on it. Oh, but spread shot's better, though. Well, okay, now it's laser. Oh, fuck. I ran over the wrong thing. Oh, I'm out of life. Dang. Oh, that's a long auto run stage. Okay. Nine? All right, let me try stage. I can do better this time. I, can search. I just do not like auto scrolls. They come up in Contra now and then. Fairly long stage. Or maybe I just feel that way because I don't like Honest Rollers. <laughs> maybe it's not actually that long, but I just don't like Honest Rollers, so it felt long to me. There we go. Now I have a spread shot. Much better. Let's not immediately lose it. Spread shot is always MVP, in my opinion. Hopefully I get to keep it long enough to get level 2 again. Ooh, that's close. I don't shoot! Not one of them! Not anymore! Explain. I'll do bounces between the enemies. Friend. Yeah, soft Toby. Just a merc, you know? As long as you get the first hit, you'll get a second hit. These guys are terrorists, man! The other guys were brainwashed or something. They're like freaking zombies. But not you. Here's the problem. Here's the problem we were playing this level. This mid-level cutscene. I mean, there's some enemies to fight, but let's be honest. This is just a mid-level cutscene that I have to go through. Kind of sucks if I lose the level afterwards and have to see it again. No way. You don't understand. I don't suppose, no, there's no skipping it, because there's still gameplay, this isn't a proper cutscene, so I can't skip it. It's a bit long. So here's my one complaint with this with this remake so far. Scott says, it does seem a little story heavy for a Contra game. Like, I feel like that's not Contra's strength and it shouldn't be attempted to be done that way. I, I fell. It's also very dangerous for me to stick close to the enemy that rams me, but if I can take it out before it rams, it's better. No, no, no. Oh, oh shit, I wanted that one. Ah, fuck. I just don't want to lose my spread shot, that's all. I was hoping for a special level two there. Let's be careful of those little things at the bottom. They're definitely getting spot shots off, so I have to be careful not to get hit by them. Homing! I could have had homing level 2 right now, but I wasn't smart, so... I'm gonna say mid-distance so I can get multiple spread shot hits, but still dodge... ...the ramming attack.
And how was I supposed to get that? <laughs> Even if I wanted it. Train. Sorry, I'm not talking much. <laughs> Since this stage is long. Okay. <sighs> you won't get much information out of him now. No! No! You fool! <laughs> All right, hold. God damn it! God fucking damn it! I didn't even mean to pick that up. Uh, fire. Let's get fire. I lost my spread level two because I didn't see it coming. Oh well, at least I still have the whole main. Should that should help. I'm not even sure how actually fire should probably be replaced as soon as possible. Surely that's kinda useless at this stage comparatively. Oh god. Oh oh no. You're bouncing everywhere. Okay. <laughs> that was a little scary actually. Did I just like run into an attack? Well, at least it didn't get me. No, no what that? Oh god, what? <laughs> I think I dodged an attack just barely. Oh, there's a lot going on. Jeez. How long is this stage? Oh no. Nope, 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 nope. No, no, no! God, the, the screen zoomed in. I literally just had less. Man, that's so rude. The screen zoomed in, so I just have less screen real estate to dodge the flamethrower guys now. That was nice. I, I'm really glad. I'm really glad the screen zoomed in, so I couldn't have as much room to dodge. <laughs> Woo! It does have that cause for bullshit, though, which is actually kind of almost cozy in a weird way. Like, ah, oh, yes, Contra's a jerk sometimes. I remember now. I wonder what was in that cast right there, Bluff. There was too much going on, so I didn't really care. Oh, hello, Resident Evil enemy. <laughs> oh, it's the lieutenant. Okay. He's a uh, where? Oh, fuck! You tricked me. I thought I had to jump over you, and you just shot me in the air. All right. Okay. What in the actual fuck? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, that. That's hard to tell where the. It's that's okay. That is actually kind of hard to like read. Like it's kind of hard to tell where that's gonna land. I guess you could say. Because like, oh man, I hate when 3D effects make an attack, an attack's hurt box less obvious. Yeah, can you tell me? Oh god, man, that's rough, actually. That's legit hard for me to figure out. Like, where it is, you know? Like, just simply where it is. What did you just- you threw their bikes at me. You are- you fucking asshole. He's freaking digigrade! It's like some where something or other. Hmm. You know what? I will perk shop. Why not? There. I have exactly the amount of money I need to do something effective. Alright, there. Fine, we'll do perks. Oh, I get to pick two. Alright, sure.
I did try it, but it didn't work because the inputs got so eaten by a menu option. Okay, this time I'm not gonna lose because I have. Yeah, I immediately start love to spread. It's a good start. And all weapons will be level two now. So let's just win, hopefully this time. But yeah, that laser attack. Oh man, did you guys? You saw what I was. You saw why I was having trouble then, right? Oh, now I have two spread. I didn't know I could stack that actually. Uh, you know what? Sure. That laser attack, oh, I, I just hate it in, uh, I hate it when 2D shooter-based games have, like, 3D effects and a boss's attack goes in and out of the background layer in a 3D way. It, like, throws me off really hard as to when to, when is the attack on my plane of existence, you know? Like, ugh. This is the worst part of the level. I like how they. Oh yeah, I still have to, have to shoot people. Name is Brad. Actually, one second. I I really don't like that they decided the second level of the game should be really long, have an in-game cutscene occur that's also really long, and also have two boss fights, so you're likely to lose it. Merc, you know, sign up for some money. <laughs> you know, that combination, man. man. The other guys were brainwashed or something. EG did, EG did it. Oh man, EG man, that was a classic. That game was good. Lock me up for some weird experiments. That's why I'm getting out now. So how about it? Can you get me off this island, please? With your training, you might be able to help us. No way. You don't understand. Someone let me out. They're trying to kill me. I gotta get out of here. Sniper? See? Thanks for the help, but I gotta get out of here. Well, look, Bradley. Good thing the ore bots don't attack for a while. I'm looking for a homing. When I get homing missile, I'll have level two. We haven't seen level two homing. So I'm in in intrigued. There it is. Okay, what do we got? Oh, they're blue now. Oh my god. Yeah, I do believe they're a little more powerful now. Holy shit. The <laughs> decimation. Oh, nope, don't. Oh, wait, actually, that was more homing. It's a lot of hits, honestly. Fuck it. You know what? There. Oh, fuck. I was wondering if he would. I was watching the gun, actually, but it didn't activate quite when I... Whoa, double! What the fuck? Settle the fuck down. Holy shit. I was expecting double spike traps. Didn't know we could even do that. That's fine, I'll go get another spread shot later. Well, that's rude, that was just going right through him. Yeah, don't mind if I do. That will do as well. <sighs> you won't get much information out of him now. Keep 
defeat enough enemies, and the bonus pod indicator will appear below your health bar. When you need a weapon, give me a call, and I'll send it right away. Okay, so this time... Yes, I do have a special attack. I don't want to use it, though, because I prefer having the weapons. <laughs> Say on one side of the stream seems to be an effective strategy with the homie missile level 2. Could have been another spread there, but actually I feel like homie missile works better at this stage, so... See, if I see on one side, all the homie missiles are immediately going the correct direction to hit things. What is that one homie miss- Do you see that one homie missile going like at, like, a fifth of the speed of the others? Like, what was that about? Yeah, this seems effective. What I'm doing right now. Holy shit. Oh. Oops. Slight problem there. Yeah, this whole mean isn't fucking around, so I'll just stay over here. It, it seems lazy, but... If I say on one side and fire the opposite direction, the the homing missiles are always ready to go for whatever comes on screen. They can take it out as fast as possible that way. They don't have to have a lot of travel time, you see. Uh oh. Data center is just ahead. Hi. Guess the lieutenant was tougher than I thought. Let's see, is there a isn't there a oh. By the way, here's that for you, if you were curious. Oh! The bike acted like a boomerang. What the actual hell? Okay. Uh, noted for the future. Oh, okay, bye. <laughs> Never mind then. One second. Oh, RT to lock. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Oh, locks movement. Ah, I was wondering if I could lock my weapon. Can I lock my weapon? No, I cannot lock. I was wondering if I could lock my weapon position while still moving around. So, like, I'm always aiming right, but I can move left. But I don't think that's a thing. Okay. Yeah, okay, I understand the laser now, but it is a little bit stupid the first time you encounter it. Okay, I've learned my lesson with this too. Wait, what? Oh, that's it? You're done? Oh, wow, you had less health than I expected. <laughs> okay, then. Still a long stage, though. Homie 2 is faster and better. Yeah, I don't think Homie 2 does more damage. I think I just have higher DPS with it. I think I send out more rockets as well. Riser to HQ. Do you copy? <laughs> I'm surprised the computer still works. The lieutenant turned into some kind of monster. We're here, Major. Sounds like Red Falcon is using biological weapons technology. On the positive side, we located their data hub, and Lance is hacking it now. On the positive side, one one fucking modem is still working. That's so we can't great. actually upload something. If anyone at HQ has suggestions, I'm not above asking for help. Looks like you're in. We'll begin analyzing the data. There's another facility north of your current location, just past the local village. This data suggests it's a laboratory. Our best shot at information regarding those gravity waves. By the way, I didn't actually mind. I didn't actually mind replaying the stage. I just didn't like that mid-stage cutscene. Officially, they evacuated after the meteor shower, but we already know that report is less than accurate. I can't believe these poor fools are going to head to make the Bido. Oh, the Bido, yeah. Don't love the sound of this. Heads up, I'm accessing security footage of an unknown operative. You boys aren't alone. We'll be careful. Regardless, we'll head for that village and let you know if we find anything out of the ordinary. 
quite a lot of story, and st I guess it is story mode, fair enough. <laughs> I wonder how many stages there are in this game. Yeah, we're gonna keep doing the auto level up. It just makes life a little more... Yeah. <laughs> I don't really want to make Contra too easy, but after that stage, I'll take the... I'll take the, uh, for... <laughs> 8 to 10? For Perhaps so. I also... Homie Missile for the win, I guess. <laughs> Order placement. So, I'm guessing way forward. So, way forward, I think they did a pretty good job with this. I can tell Konami didn't give them much of a budget. Can you tell too? Surprise. If you notice the modeling work, I, I'm gonna say this, and I don't mean to be mean to way forward or anyone developing this game, but to be perfectly honest, I'm gonna save a spreadshot after thinking about it. Um, this the the model work looks like something you'd see on a mobile game. So I, I, but listen, I don't think that's WayForward's fault. I bet you anything Konami gave them, like, no budget for this game. Konami was like, yeah, we want to remake uh, Contra. We'll hire WayForward, which is a good decision. WayForward's a good company. But I bet you, because we're dealing with modern-day Konami, Konami was like, yeah, WayForward, uh, make me a, make us a Contra game. So, you know, for our, because occasionally Konami goes like, hmm, maybe we should make something nostalgic. Occasionally they're like that. But Konami's also like, but we're modern Konami, so we're not going to actually invest a budget into this. <laughs> That'd be silly. We don't. We only invest budgets into pachinko machines these days. We'll develop old. We'll develop like remakes of our classics. But oh, they don't get a budget though. That would be silly to give them a budget. We're not a video game company anymore, so we don't give a budget for video games. <laughs> I don't like what Konami did, if you can't tell. It kind of annoyed me. They used to be such an awesome company, honestly. I'll not let them live it down, especially... Not until I see them provide a quality and high budget experience. Oh, that's what this does in level 2. That's... I'm not sure what to say about that, actually. I'm gonna go back to Spread Gun now. That seems a little unwieldy, actually. Are you alone? Oh, it's the girl. You shouldn't be here. You're not what you think. She must be from this village. She's a local. Oh shit! <laughs> Let's see that guy. Here we go. Back attacks are the like the most bullshitty thing in Contra, but they're also pretty classic. Cute. Oh look at it, it's so adorable, it's so cute. Oh shit, are you gonna land on me? I don't like that. Oh no, that was completely harmless. Uh, well, that was easy. Oh, wait, that's right. I don't want that. Oh, I want that. I really don't like it when a power lands in the water. You just literally, it's like invisible at that point. Oh, who's this guy? Who's this Overwatch character? Ah, we meet at last. You're the two warriors who've been tearing through my men. Okay. You the guy in charge of Red Falcon? No, idiot! I'm wearing a teal blue suit. Do you think I'm in charge of Red Falcon? <laughs> I am Baramis, the vanguard bringing order and justice to this planet. Okay. So you're a Twitter moderator. Got it. <laughs> Just or Reddit moderator, rather. <laughs> first, huh? The way he said that. 
And who are you? Two soldiers? To stand against my unstoppable forces? We're Contra, the Earth Marine Corps' finest. Contra? Is that so? This guy is really voice acting. Leave this island! He, he's like dripping with evil. <laughs> well then, Contra. I will look forward to our next meeting. Well then, Katra, I will look forward to our next meeting. Like, yeah, my god, the ham. I love it. <laughs> Man, can you make me a can you make me a sandwich of all that ham? I mean, we were headed that way already. I love it though. I love me some hammy voice acting. Oh, okay, we're doing that. I oh they have a- they're playing logic- wait, what's that? There. There's a person in the water. I see you there. You're gonna jump out, aren't you? Come on, do it. Aha, you did it. I knew it. Oh god, he blew up into the spread shot. Oh, hello, oh god. That actually ambushed me a little bit. I was not jumping to its attacks. How is the guy hanging out in the waterfall? That's very impressive. Oh, come on! I literally just jumped casually into that. What a fucking asshole. I love enemies just dropping on my fucking head. That's always so much fun. This guy's a contract, right? Bet you can climb right up those rock walls by jumping onto them. The waterfall stage sucks. <laughs> oh, I can't actually climb. I have to jump climb. All right. Oh, a rock! It comes for the- oh, it comes for the- I see. Well, level 2 flamethrower, I suppose, then. That guy was just standing there. Okay, I'm ready to get exploded. I don't like the rocks. They kind of just- they don't give me much time to react. I guess I'll just stay with flamethrower for now. Oh! <laughs> okay! I'm glad that I got used to that specific bridge texture, and now suddenly it's electrified. Cool. <laughs> it's that, time. The, that was in the first- the, that state- that, uh, those bridges were in the first stage and didn't do anything there. Which surprised me, because the original Contra with the first bridges, you find they blow up. They don't hurt you, they just blow up and they, you fall down ground Um, but they didn't do that, so I was like, oh, the bridges are just kind of chill now, okay. And now the bridge is suddenly electrify me immediately. All right. You know what? Double homing. Oh, by the way, I'd like to note this is yet another level that had a mid-game cutscene. Uh, that that's that's in real time. Oh, wait, can I skip that one? I wonder. I don't think so. Maybe I can. I'll try. What if my homing missiles like slingshot really fast back right at me? What the hell is that about? Not a good position. A pie is not good at a level of mortars. I'll probably switch games after this level. This seems like an alright remake. Low budget, obviously, but alright otherwise. Wish Konami actually gave a shit about video games again. Like, WayForward does, so th this is competent because WayForward's developing it. I guess nowadays the only good Konami games are the ones where Konami pays for it, but somebody else makes it and not Konami. <laughs> If this had a budget, I bet it'd be pretty sweet. Without a budget, it's still alright.
That drone managed to survive by attacks for a while. I not appreciate that. Maybe I should stick with Prez. Even though the homing missile is very bombastic, admittedly, Spreadshot does better DPS. Does anybody actually, like, legitimately know why Kanavi took the turn it did? Obviously, their decision was Pachinko's machines are more profitable. But, like, they legitimately had great stuff going and they just kind of dropped it. Oh, thank god, I can skip this. Okay. Good. I like how there's an excuse, by the way. In the original Contra 1, if you were going up in stage 3 and then you dropped down, you died. And why did you die? Because you went off screen. In this, there's a little more logic. The water started rising with us, so I guess the idea is, oh no, situational flooding is occurring. You must keep going up. You can't go back down, or the flooding will get you. I, I can't hit that guy. <laughs> All right. He was- I saw his feet, but apparently that wasn't good enough. I gotta be very careful here, because these rocks... No! No! Okay. There. Not what I wanted. <laughs> no! No, my god! I- I couldn't- the, the- my helping missiles target the boulders. That's bad. Because that- that means they, they're missing the things I actually need to attack. Okay, lessons were learned. I'm gonna stand over here. I do think this this bridge trap right here, kind of a bitch move. Gonna say, kind of a bitch move, game. Cause like, I like to like to note that you hop up to the bridge. The bridge takes almost the entire screen, and then the bridge just electrifies. Like a little bit of a bitch move. <laughs> If there were some safe spots to stand as well, right immediately, then it would be a little more reasonable. Oh no. No wait. Okay. And yes, you can climb up and down. I just never stop shooting. If you're shooting, you can't do that, so. Ah. Ah, god! Oh wait, that's a pull for the- Oh my god, I couldn't even tell that was like a, a hole that rocks would come out of. <laughs> it seems so slight and unnoticeable. I don't know, like... Nope. Oh my god. Look at this fucking rage... S settle the hell down, holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna save a spread as long as there's all these distracting rocks the homie missiles that get messed up on. I don't like this. Oh, they're desynced? Oh, fuck. Okay. Number one thing that messes me up. <laughs> oh, oh god! Okay. I don't know where the rocks are gonna be, guys. I just, I don't know. Oh god, jumpy people. Oh no, I jumped into a random shot because that touch. Ah, oh, the gun lasted just long enough to get that off. Damn it. Ah. Oh god, that guy's ready for me. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, vertical stages are always so mean in Contra, but I understand why they included it. It's kind of classic. I really wish these jumping people would go away. <laughs> or oh my god, they, they're literally just gonna fucking assassinate me, guys. Oh, hi there, guy that came off screen right where I was standing. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Uh. Yeah? 
Yep, we got this guy. I remember this guy. I have the cutscene for you. <laughs> Oh, fire trap! Excellent. In desperate situations, overloading a weapon. Oh god, it's so instantaneous with its attacks. Holy shit! I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this very much. It's a little fast. Okay, I have a home missile. Oh god. That claw meandering on the ground is really annoying me. Thank God the claw! Oh, the claws! Oh, the fucking fire! Ah, oh, fuck! I knew it. I knew it would happen. I'm being this stage, and then we'll move on. <laughs> okay. God damn. <laughs> All right, we want. I guess, despite the fact that there's boulders, I guess we do want homing missile still. So I don't know if you noticed, but that robot has or sorry, that uh that bug boss has extremely uh fast attack frames for certain attacks. So I have to be very mindful. But honestly, that like tell claw that was just meandering around, that was really annoying me. Now keep in mind, the game was, the default experience was normal difficulty with a health bar. So I have made the game harder because I'm on one hit mode, but I can't, I can't play this game with a health bar. That just feels wrong. Contra with a health bar just doesn't sound right. So even though it's, it's being really hard on a one hit mode, I, it is, it is what I would consider the proper experience for a Contra game, so. Obviously you can play it different if you want. Oh, that's really nice! <laughs> I wonder if... Oh my god. I wonder if they, they made health bar mode the default mode because of bullshit like that. Maybe it's because the game's not perfectly balanced and some bullshit can happen, so they make up for it with a health bar, I guess? It's like, oh, a bullshit happened, but hey, it's okay, you can take another hit, you know? You shouldn't be here, but you're not what you think. On one hit mode, if there's if there's bullshit with the enemies, you'll really notice the bullshit on one hit mode, you know? But that's the thing, I think it's because this game's low budget, so stuff like that can happen. Oh, I agree, in most games I would prefer a health bar too. But I if I'm coming if I want to play a contra game, I'm not interested in a health bar. Just my personal preference, though. I have no qualms if you guys want to, like, make this game easier. If you played it. Makes sense, honestly. Oh, jeez, that's what those guys do. I never let them live long enough to... So, by the way, there is a special ability I can use by absorbing a weapon and then I can get all special stuff. But I don't really want to do that. I want the weapon. That's more important to me. Because that consumes it, you know. Man, they really want me to have homing right now, don't they? At least this mid-game cutscene is skippable. The vertical stages in, in Contra were always, were always really hard, though, because enemies could just, like, Oh, there it is, it's dropping on your head. Did you not expect that? Too bad. But the thing is, though, you need to move... You need to still move kind of quickly in a Contra game, though. If you move too slowly, um, you generally get enemies like piling up on you. It's not great, so you gotta you gotta still move, you know. Hardware. 
Damn it! Okay, that's fine. I was like wondering how I was gonna get around that, but that's fine, whatever. Flamethrower? Sure, why not? To me. That ledge is suspicious. Can I get up there and take like a shortcut? I assume yes. Oh god. Right, that's how I didn't consider that boulder could kill could kill me in that position. Makes sense sort of, but. It's so hard to remember there's a boulder hole there. <laughs> I almost like jumped into the boulder because, again, oh god. Ah! I feel like they could have made the boulder locations a little more. Hey, don't go here, this is dangerous, you know? Especially the waterfall ones. Look at the waterfall ones, guys, in particular. Ah! I was worried when the jumpy guys would show up. The answer was then. Hold me all the way. I need to focus on dodging for the boss fight. Yeah, I'm shooting upwards because I'm, I'm very cautious right now. Alright, we made it to the boss with no, no lives lost. That's pretty good. I think we got this now. That's fair, Kessel Colto. I mean, if, if the game has slight jank with some attacks and stuff, it is best to have a health bar to mitigate it, but... So I've learned my lesson <laughs> with how this guy fights. Very scary attacks, but not too bad. He's scary, but not that bad, actually. When you get down to it... Okay, I'm gonna pause that. The other one is now shooting acid everywhere. Okay. Okay. Oh, what did I get hit by? That's fine. The answer is yes. Oh, there's... Actually, the answer is... what? Take your pick. There's a million things going on, so... Okay, I don't even know what I'm dying to. No, don't lose now. Oh, thank God. Holy shit. It was really hard to tell what I was even getting hit by. There's acid and fire. And I think I was standing too close to the fire. Like, I think the fire's hitbox was a little bit bigger than it appeared. But I kind of needed to, to, like, prevent how much of the field was being covered by fire. It was one of those cases where if you move all around the field, you're going to put fire everywhere. So you kind of want to inch around so as to not do that. What the hell? First time through story mode, you can't unlock anyone. That's fair. Everybody's getting introduced, I suppose. A creature from beyond the stars. I tried to warn you. Hey, you're the kid from before. What are you doing here all alone? I like everyone to notice something. Her model is completely frozen right now. Like, I just realized, like, at this exact moment. She's not even, she doesn't have an idle animation or anything. Look at this. 
So it just kind of caught my attention. Like, look, look at her. She's not even blinking. <laughs> She's not even blinking. She's like, I am a hardcore stone cold. I'm even looking like a stone right now. Well, <laughs> she's battle hardened. She can't move anymore. <laughs> I am Ariana. My people protected this island for thousands of years. She really does look like an Overwatch character, though. After the meteors fell, the village was attacked. Save a Lance. Oh, yeah, Lance is. Well, no, no, they're animated. Okay, everybody's animated now for some reason. And that man, Varanis. Not a man. See, now they have the animation, but not that time. He's a being from another world who arrived that night. He controls the Red Falcon soldiers, as if they lost wills of their own. Yeah, Lance was also frozen for a bit. I think that's true. All this Doyle. So they just like just for a, some for a certain part of this cutscene, the idol animations were just not played. I am indeed. Commander, this is the situation we were afraid of. I'll continue my investigation in the field. Understood, Lucia. Try to link up with our contras once you arrive. Where's Varanis now? He was too fast. I lost him in the climb. That big ugly monster came out of there. No telling what else is going on. Riser's correct. For the time being, your mission is unchanged. See if there's any leads on gravity weapons in the lab. I'm coming with you. So we've been now we've been now told like, oh yeah, so alien invaders. And the commander's like, okay, aliens, whatever. I still just care about the gravity weapons, though. No, no, aliens, whatever. Gravity weapons, guys. Gravity weapons. That's all we care about. <laughs> Sure, kid. It's gonna get gnarly in there. Lucia well, might be a twist fill. She's going to the field. That's true. What's, what's her involvement gonna be? It's not any safer out here. I don't think we have a choice. But don't let her out of your sight. Your babysitter. Sheesh. Ray graduates academy and you're already adopting another one, huh? Relax, Pops. This isn't Uncle Bill's first rodeo. There's no time to waste. Boom. You heard the kid. She's a proper Contra soldier person because she could do the rolly thing. I love the rolly thing. <laughs> it's the best jump. I also survived Ariana has joined the group. She can also be selected. I like. Ha Wait, hold on. Farrah just said I can't unlock anyone on my first playthrough. Meanwhile, just unlock somebody. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to stop here. If you guys would like. <laughs> If you guys would like another howl on this one, I could do a, I could do a, I could do a brief another howl on this one. I kind of would like to beat the game, so I could beat it on stream. We'll probably put this on the another howl block as well. I don't think it's an. Uh, here's my opinion. I can feel the low budget. This is a case of good studio, low budget. So it's not perfect. There's still some little bits of uh, polish I noticed that are kind of messy. Admittedly, the original Contra also had occasional bullshit deaths, like guy that fell off screen and just landed on you, you didn't even see him coming. But to be fair, if this had a higher budget, I bet stuff like that would have been a little bit more polished. There would have been a little bit, bit little more warning, you know, a little bit more fairness in the situation. So I see a little bit of jank here and there, and I do think that's probably because Konami gave this a low budget. The model work especially makes me think low budget because it does give me real mobile game vibes. However, it does play good. It's not a shitty mobile game. Don't worry. Um, it's not perfect, but I'd say it's a competent enough remake of the original. Um, I wouldn't spend full price on this, probably, because knowing Konami, this is probably going for... Let me check. Okay, it looks like they're selling it for... Oh, I don't know. I can't check prices in USD, but it's... Uh, CAD is $53.49. So it's not $60. But it's probably somewhere around 50 USD. So, yeah, as expected, it's being sold for a fair bit. I think that's a bit high. Wait for a sell. Go for a Steam Summer or Winter sell. Look for this thing being 50% off. I'd say it's worth your time then. But I don't know if I'd pay that much for this. Not Listen, Konami, if you want to give a game a low budget, then give it a low price. That's all. That's all I have to say. Wait for it did a good job overall, though, I'd say. But we'll check this out more in Howler and another Howl later on. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is a fine enough game. If you miss, if you like Contra, I'd say you probably would enjoy this. Just wait for a sale. 40 USD. Okay, 40 USD. Oh, it's much higher cat for some reason. Um, alright, fair enough. I guess that's how they decided the price ratio between regions. 
But uh, yeah, I'd say still wait for a sale though. Get this on twenty dollars or something, then it's probably probably be fine. Forty is a little high for this though. Again, simple fact is, WayForward did a good job. But if Konami doesn't want to fund it, then Konami shouldn't sell for much. That's how I feel about this sort of thing. Isn't Cat always higher? Usually not by that much though. But yes. Um, anyway, so that was Contra Operation Galuga. I'll another howl this later, but for the time being, I'd say competent. A little cheaply made, good studio, get it on sale. That's my final verdict. <laughs>